What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So I'm going to be talking about the Chucky Season 2 finale that is coming out two weeks from... Well, I'll just say two weeks away. Chucky Season 2's finale was a Christmas-centric, Christmas-themed, blood-drenched Christmas miracle. If you read my tweet, you know how I already feel about this episode. This ended up being my favorite episode of the season. It concludes several different things that have been getting set up very early on in the in the first half of the season also while addressing some things that might be confusing from the first season related to uh some stuff between dr mix dr mixter and chucky so chucky season two's finale features the return of some characters you haven't seen since the very first episode of this season yes again it's christmas themed and i'll say if you liked what you saw in seed of chucky on the set of chucky go cycle when we like I, I know all of us upon the first time i've seen cedar chucky you thought that that Ch you thought tiffany in the snow the santa claus you thought that was a part of the actual movie until we found out it was not if you liked that you're gonna get basically like a full adaptation of chucky with snow around him which is just so fun to watch it's a very fun episode again it ended up being my favorite episode of the season but i cannot ignore that some of the writing really was nonsensical at certain points some of it is a little bit baffling it's like okay Let's tighten up on the writing. Certain twists that occur while shocking just did not add up when considering previous setups earlier in the season. Although, if you guys can recall something I'm forgetting after you see this finale, then explain it to me. This is spoiler free, so a lot of this stuff might be confusing because I'm not trying to spoil anything related to the episode. So, there is one twist though included that I thought was pretty well executed related to a character that we've known since season one that I'm sure is going to shock several different viewers. Exposition dumping will occur at the start of the episode to explain Mixter's ties to Chucky, Charles a little further, and usually I'm against this depending on how the story is unfolding, but this adds context to the events of season one as well as season two. Now there is something that again goes on that really kind of just left me confused as to why dr mixter was doing certain things but i might be forgetting certain occurrences and it's not necessarily it doesn't make sense as much as i might be forgetting that's why i hope those of you who when you watch the finale you can fill me in on certain stuff and i'll probably get more specific after this uh episode actually airs on television of course now Lexi is still on her road to recovery in this episode with Devin and Jake by her side. They are home for the holidays. You do get a time jump in this episode. It's jumping to the Christmas season. And it seems she's come to terms with more than just a killer doll being the source of her trauma. Her arc this season has been the most compelling out of the three. And Olivia continues to just outshine her two co-stars who still have interesting an interesting dynamic between them that of course being jake and devin it just never is that gripping like what lexi is dealing with her addiction and what she's going through is a lot more compelling than relationship drama where you have two boys or two anybody who are like just bickering with each other over the fact they're just not seeing eye to eye in their relationship i'm not really invested in that bond they do have great chemistry that being zachary and bajorvin but i just found lex's material to be much more compelling devin and jake will make you upset and happy in this episode all at the same time if you are invested in their relationship zachary i would say really has improved this season overall with his delivery facial expressions so for those of you who couldn't stand parts of his season one performance he rounds out this season with another example of just how talented he is jennifer tilly has been been killing it as tiffany this season and she got of course her breakout i would say moment in terms of some of her best work as tiffany in episode four she's more than tiffany in this episode is more than desperate as she attempts to steal something that will allow her to continue the freedom she seeks since jennifer is wanted for murder Till tilly's ability to transition from murderous psycho to loving mother has always been a highlight of the tiffany character and you'll get a bit of that this episode it makes the character more compelling now while she's trying to achieve her goal she's also trying to be the mother glenn and glinda so desperately need especially after a certain event that occurs in episode seven glenn and glinda utilized in this episode might be my favorite usage of them because of the big surprise that it leads to there is a big surprise in this episode episode related to this character these characters um again i'm not going to spoil it but those of you who have, who have been asking for a certain thing it is coming 
and it was so good to experience that for the first time in so long that's all i will say about that glenn and glinda are used as a source of nostalgia mostly this episode and again that's really all i want to go into because you'll be happy with how they're used i'm just some of you a lot of you will be happy with how they are used this episode makes it clear that they are stronger together than separately um and what I'm talking about, that surprise, it's related to a noise. I'll just say it's a certain noise that you all love to hear. As for the kills this episode, two will stand out and both involve a chainsaw that leads to over-the-top gore on a night where everyone should be waiting for Santa to arrive. Someone arrives down the chimney to eat the milk and cookies, but it's Chucky Claus, not, not Santa Claus. The animatronics this season have always been great, and you get more instances of just some great animatronics with Chucky this time around. Always prefer the practical effects over the CGI. Uh, some of the kills again the two i'm thinking of while again they're bl bloody very bloody they are over the top and a little dramatic but all in all this is a very well executed finale that while i do say yes had some writing mishaps everything else for me worked you had great performances i thought the pacing was all was all right uh i loved the way they kind of left you wanting more too so you are going to get a cliffhanger ending with this season something goes on at the very end where you i guess are not going to get that answer until we get renewed for season three when chucky returns hopefully next fall because this season was a lot of fun i think it was packed with several improvements i'm not saying that the writing wasn't a little messy at times but i think comparing it to the first season with all the other things that were kind of holding back that first season when you see these improvements in this one i would sp still put season two over season one i really would i enjoyed it i enjoyed the finale seeing chucky and snow again was a breath of fresh air i enjoyed tiffany's arc in this episode i enjoyed the material with glenn and glinda i thought all of the arcs for the characters were well written some were just more compelling than others the most compelling were definitely tiffany glenn glinda what's going on with Chucky and then Lexi herself. I'm sorry, Devin and Jake, they just were not, they're, they're at the bottom of the totem pole in terms of how everyone else has so much more interesting material to work with. That's just me. Many of you I know are invested in that relationship. I'm personally not. If they break up, I couldn't care less. I'm not saying they should break up. I, I just couldn't care less. But uh, you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. Are you excited for Chucky season two? There are the season two finale. There are again several surprises in this episode that I hope many of you enjoy. The Christmas theme back backdrop. I wasn't even aware they were doing a Christmas theme episode. So when I turned it on, I was just shocked to see that this was most christmas centric episode let me know something about it all down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video